Hey guys, so this is a video I've been wanting to film for quite a while. I've been getting a lot of requests, especially now lately. It seems like everybody is getting new jobs and graduating from college and starting internships, and I get a lot of questions about what to wear in the workplace, and I try to do as many outfit of the days as I can. I don't always have the time in the morning, but this video is going to be just my, in my, you know, seldom very own opinion, the top 10 wardrobe essentials that I think everybody needs to have. Women. Every woman needs to have. Every girl needs to have. Not necessarily for a professional atmosphere. This is just for anything. And I think the 10 essentials that I covered in this video would be good for anybody that's in college, that's going into a career, that is in high school, that, you know, just wants to have a nice social life. Like, I just feel like these pieces... Everybody, depending on whatever your lifestyle is, would benefit from having in your wardrobe. And the things that I picked out range from high to low and everything in between. And I want to just say that I'm not telling you that you need to have like exactly what I'm showing you. For the most part, everything I'm showing you is general. So you can go spend as much or as little money as you want. But I will say, just from my own personal experience, that sometimes, well, I, for the most, most of these things... I would, if you're going to spend money on investing in your wardrobe, these are the these are the articles and the items that I would invest your money because they're essentials for your wardrobe. They can dress up, dress down, change your outfits around. They're not trendy. They're not going to go out of style. They will take you from season to season, from year to year, regardless of what the current trends are, regardless of what's in all your fashion magazines and everything that you're reading and seeing on television. I just think that every, everything that I'm going to show you None of it is a waste of money and it will always, always, you'll always come back to it. Or at least I always come back to these pieces in my closet. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. It's so funny because I, every time I get a compliment on an outfit, I'm not even kidding you, like it's from Target and people like almost fall to the ground when I tell them. I absolutely love Target. I kind of wish this video was sponsored by them, but it's not. I get so many, so many, so many basics and cute things from there. I just want to let you know, like, I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. I'd rather invest money in a handbag or a nice pair of shoes that will last me forever. Um, clothes, trends, everything goes in and out, but I really feel like the pieces I'm going to show you now are worth spending your money if you want to invest in having them, but you don't have to. I'm going to start, stop rambling. I'm really excited, as you can tell, and I'm going to get on with the video. All right, so the first thing that came to mind when I started jotting ideas down was a blazer. I think every woman should have some kind of blazer in your wardrobe. If you want to extend it and have two, if you can afford to pick up two, I would get a black and a nude, but if you could only get one, I would just go for a black one. This one is from Target. It's by the brand Mossimo. I got it a couple years ago. It's still in amazing condition. It probably could use a good iron. Um, but it's it's gorgeous. It has nice lining if you want to cuff the sleeves. I wear this to work with like a suit. I would wear this with, je with skinny jeans, with leggings, with jeggings out for a night, with pumps, with flats. It goes with everything. It can easily dress up an outfit and a simple t-shirt if you really wanted it to. I just feel like a nice form-fitting blazer is definitely um, a necessity in my book. And I also have this one from Forever 21. And it's like more of a nude. It has really nice rutch sleeves. But something basic. Basic, basic. You don't want to get anything trendy here. Because you want the stuff to last you. Especially if you're investing money. So blazers would be number one. Number two would be your favorite look good, feel good pair of jeans. For me, it's a really good pair of skinny jeans, a pair that's going to make my butt look good, and a pair that I'm comfortable in that I'm not going to worry about bending over and having my entire backside hang out, um, a pair that I'm not going to have to roll up or have hemmed or anything like that. And again, I just have two options to show you. My absolute favorite, most comfortable pair is from The Gap, and they're like the 1979, 1969 brand, and these are a lighter wash than I typically like, but they're so, so comfortable, and I think they're called jeggings, but they're so comfortable. They go on, honestly, they just get better with age. I absolutely love them, and they're always on sale, so you can always find a really good deal. And then for my darker pair, these are from Forever 21. I think these were $9, and I've had these for over a year, too. Forever 21 always has really good deals on jeans. I would typically wear the lighter ones for like daytime and I always wear darker ones at night. I really don't have any jeans lighter than this color 
I just don't prefer them, but it's whatever you're comfortable in. Next up would be a good skinny belt. Now when I say skinny belt, that could be a really, really general, huge range, and most people would probably think black. I, if I could give you my professional opinion, I would tell you to go with something that has a punch to it, but not that's overly trendy. Like I have this gorgeous hot pink belt from Target that I would not recommend buying because it's in right now and it's not, it might not be in next season. This belt I got from Ann Taylor Loft and from far away it kind of looks nude which is what I love about it but up close it's almost like a blush suede metallic and the great thing about having skinny belts is you can wear them to the office in your slacks or you can wear them with skinny jeans or sometimes you could even put them like over a really baggy shirt that you want to just kind of give some shape to or you want to accentuate your figure or your waist. I just think having a skinny belt can again like totally 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 dress up your outfit without even looking like you tried. Ann Taylor Loft always has amazing deals. Target has a ton of skinny belts. Again not a lot of money here. Okay I really, really believe that a good white t-shirt is essential in every wardrobe. You guys know I love the Target Boyfriend tees. They're only $8. They have a pocket, so the reason I'm not showing those is to me, it's probably not a shirt I would wear under a blazer for work because having the little pocket just kind of dresses it, takes it a little bit down a step, and it doesn't look as clean and as professional. So my favorite is the Lux Tissue Tees from Banana Republic. It's a simple white t-shirt. It has a little detailed like satin um, hem around the neck and it's nice and form-fitting and this just came out of the dryer, clearly needs to be ironed. But um, really nice quality, feels really good. It's not totally see-through. It washes nice, it stays nice. I've had this, gosh, for probably the last six months. I think it was around $30, but if you take care of your whites, um, you know, run them in with bleach once in a while. I wouldn't do it every single time and watch what other clothes you're mixing. These will hold up really nice. A basic white t-shirt you can do so much with. There, there's like endless options. You can stick it under a cardigan, under a blazer. You could put a beautiful statement necklace. You could put a beautiful scarf. You could do a silk scarf in the summer or spring. You could do a wool scarf in the fall and the winter. You could do a long necklace, you could do something that's more high necked, you could layer necklaces on this, you could bring in any color that you want. It really doesn't even need to matter because white goes with everything. And the beauty of white t-shirts, I wear these all the time to work. I wear them out at night with a blazer. You can wear these with skinny jeans, you can wear these with leggings, you can wear these with dress pants, you can tuck this into a pencil skirt for work. There's just a thousand and one things you can do with a simple white t-shirt. And sticking with white, and this might, I don't know, I feel like I'm really boring, you guys. I don't have a lot of color in my wardrobe. But I think if you invest in a very good white button-down, and maybe this is more so for the professional. I used to think it was more for the young professional, but honestly, this is one of my favorite shirts to wear, like, out at night. Just loosely baggy with maybe a skinny belt tucked into, like, skinny jeans with some nice stilettos or pumps on. This one is from J. Crew. It was a little bit on the pricey side. I haven't even worn it yet. It's a size 4, if anybody is wondering. And I think it was just under $100. It's 100% silk, and honestly, you don't need to go to J. Crew and get this. I just happen to really love the material. There's a little bit of detail here, um, and then in the front, too. Now, J. Crew makes this style shirt. It's called the Blythe Blouse in several different colors, but I think white is just classic. And... Um, again, like you could cinch in the waist if you wanted to. You could tuck it in with your dress slacks for work. You could wear it out. You could put a scarf with it. Again, I just feel like this, it's a step above having just a t-shirt, but it's not, it's something, again, that doesn't look like you're trying super, super hard to uh, pull off a look. It just kind of does the work for you, having a shirt like this. And I happen to really like the loose more loose fitting ones but if you have like a super slender body or a really good figure and you're comfortable in your own skin a nice tight crisp white blouse is even nicer in the workplace I probably wouldn't wear one for nighttime that's kind of why I like this because you have the versatility of day and night but I love this one from J. Crew, but any white blouse will do fine. Okay, so basically I have one handbag and the rest of everything I'm going to show you is shoes. I don't even know what number we're at, but I promise you there's only 10 things here. I just feel like I should give you guys some options. Everybody needs a good handbag. Now for me, I'm going to show you a clutch because I feel like investing in a good clutch 
could be so worth your while because for me, like, I've worn this to weddings. I've brought this out at night with my girlfriends. I've taken it out on date nights with Nick. It just takes me from season to season and from place to place, and I love it. Now, this one is from Louis Vuitton, so it's a little bit more expensive. But there again, it's the quality is great, and I will have this forever and ever and ever, and I don't have to worry about it falling apart or breaking or anything like that. It's just a simple monogram. It's called the Eva Clutch, and... Um, I like the monogram print because, like I said, it goes with everything. It goes with black. It goes with brown. I've worn this with a little black dress. I've worn this with skinny jeans. I like this clutch specifically because it's so versatile. So really quick, a short, short review. It comes with this little gold chain that you can actually... I like keeping it to one side and just having it on as a wristlet. You can clip it to both sides and then have it more so as like a shoulder bag. I don't really wear it that much like that. It's a huge clutch. Like, it fits way more than you would think. Um, it's a really nice size clutch. I'm actually going to link one of my really favorite girls on YouTube. Her name, her username is Sparkle Miss A. She did an amazing review about this bag, and she was the one that actually convinced me to get this. Um, I loved her review, and she goes through the bag and shows you how much you can hold it. So rather than me taking up time to do a review, I just wanted to uh, I'll link her video so you can see it. But this is my go-to, and the nice thing about this clutch when you buy it, it also comes with a really long strap, so it doubles as like a crossbody bag. So you really can't beat that. Um, like I said, having a good clutch can, again, it can dress up like an, a simple pair, a, dress up your white t-shirt and jeans. I wouldn't really wear this to work because I just need too much stuff with me throughout the day. But um, running errands or running out with girlfriends, going to a movie, going shopping, like this is just a very, very simple piece to have. It's incredibly durable. If anybody owns Louis Vuitton bags, you know the material is like extremely durable. I don't worry about it getting wet or spilling anything on it because it wipes clean if it's raining or snowing. I don't worry about it. I don't worry about the material getting damaged or anything like that. These just really get better with age. So that is why I would specifically recommend this clutch. I'm not saying that you should go out and buy it, like right now, but you know, maybe for a Christmas or a birthday or some kind of occasion, you can ask for it. But I just feel like, like I said, that one just takes me through the seasons. It's versatile with what you can do with it, and it matches everything, which is totally important. Black pumps. Everybody needs a pair of black pumps. Now, I wouldn't go out and buy the most trendy fit pair that you could buy. Hello, I can't even speak. I wouldn't go out and buy, like, the highest heel. I wouldn't go out and spend a lot of money because you do not need to do that at all. I have two options to show you. The first pair, I think, cost me $40. I got them at DSW, and they're by Liz Claiborne, and they're a simple Mary Jane. They only have a very tiny, maybe, like, three inch heel. They're so comfortable. These are super cute for the workplace with a nice pencil skirt or even your dress slacks, but I really like pairing these with um, leggings and skinny jeans for the night out. These even are super cute now for like with a really cute pair of shorts or something like that. Mary Janes, I just feel like they're like the old style, but they're coming back and they have a little bit more pointed toes. The ones I had when I was younger were more rounded. But they're just super cute and super stylish, and again, dress them up, dress them down, you can do either or. Another pair that I have that would be a good option, these are from Enzo and Galani, and these you can always find at Macy's on sale. These are just basic rounded toe pumps. And these I have absolutely run into the ground, but they are the most comfortable shoe ever to walk in. Um, they come in all different colors too. Personally, I prefer patent leather, but there again, it all depends on where you live, depending on the weather and the kind of work environment you work, you are in. To me, patent leather just is a little bit more dressy. It's a little more um, of a statement than just plain leather black shoes. I feel like sometimes they can get lost, and these really just can make your shoes more of a focal point of an outfit if unless you have the more understated, like the more understated plain black leather are just that. I just think they're really understated and kind of get lost. So I always go for patent, but there again, like, it totally depends on your own taste. And I prefer peep toe just because I always try to have my toes nicely done, but if you are one that does not always like to have a pedicure or toes painted or you're self-conscious of your feet, these shoes are the come in the exact same style just with a closed toe. I just feel like open-toed shoes are a little bit more sexy, and depending on where you work, you could get away with them. I can wear them for my job, but there are some workplaces 
that people would t like say that it's probably not professional to wear, just depending on the work setting, depending on how conservative you are with your job. There again, like black pumps, skinny jeans, leggings, shorts, jeans, like any kind of pair of jeans, they can take you from day to night from the office out for cocktails after. Okay, I think it's absolutely necessary for every one of us girls to have a good pair of flats, a stylish pair, a pair that doesn't make you feel frumpy, and I would get your pair of flats in like a nude color. Here again, if you have a really nice pair of flats that you're comfortable in, you can easily wear them to the workplace. You can also pair them with a beautiful pair of dark, dark wash skinny jeans for a night out, especially if you think you're going to be dancing or on your feet or walking a lot. Flats always are a win. So these ones are actually from Tory Burch, and I bought them at the Tory Burch store. But here again, like you do not need to own Tory Burch shoes. However, I will say from somebody that owns enough pairs, to say this, they're amazing quality. They hold up really well. I got my first pair like four years ago and they still look brand new, as long as you take care of them. I keep them in the box, I put them back. Every time I'm done wearing them, I don't leave them out. I try to polish them up whenever I can, just with like um, a damp washcloth or a damp paper towel. And um, I keep this little sh thing shiny. But this color I love specifically because um, they just go with everything. And they just look really nice. The gold detail dresses up an outfit. But you could easily just wear a t-shirt and jeans and this on the weekend. And it just looks super casual and chic. And it doesn't look like you're trying hard at all. So I would definitely recommend these. I don't, however... I'm not say, sitting here saying you need to have a pair of Tory Burch flats. These are just my favorite kinds of flats because I know that they're worth the money that we invest in them and the quality is really good. Um, you can always, pretty much always, especially at the end of each season, find these on sale at your big department stores like Nordstrom's, Bloomingdale's, Saks. Um, but, yeah, a good pair of flats. Again, they're work appropriate and you can easily... Even if you're just like during the day on the weekend and you're meeting friends for coffee, you're going shopping. Like I just feel like these are so cute and who wants to be in high heels when you're shopping? Not me at all. Okay, I also think that every girl along with a black pair of pumps should own a nude pair. Nude pumps just do so much for anybody. They elongate your legs. They go with everything. So when in doubt and I don't know what to wear with the outfit I'm wearing, I just throw on a pair of nude pumps. They're easy. You don't have to think about it. And like I said, they just elongate your legs. So whether you're wearing skinny jeans or a cute dress or you're in a wedding, like even weddings, like you just, everybody can find nude pumps and they look good on everybody. My absolute favorite pair is from Target and they are by Massimo and they are the Pierce pump and the color is camel. Now there are very different opinions of what nude is. To me like this is nude but I'd also consider this to be nude. And then I have pairs that are even lighter than this. You want to try to go for a color that's going to accentuate your skin tone. So I have pretty olive tone skin and for me these are like the perfect nude. Um, a lighter pair kind of washes me out but they look really nice in the winter when I lose my tan but for right now if I wore a really light pair I'd totally look washed out. These are so comfortable. If you can find them, I think they're still on Target's website. Literally, I have three pairs of these. Just because they're my favorite. I have never bought a backup of shoes in my life until these. They're so comfortable. They're like, they give, they're like, they're stretchy. They're so, so comfortable. I have worn this in, I have worn this shoe in a wedding. In my brother's wedding, these were the shoes that I wore. I danced all night. I was in them all day. My feet never hurt me. Like, they're amazing. I've worn these to work a thousand and one times. I've worn these out at night. I've worn these on the weekends. I've even shopped in these shoes. They're that comfortable. I didn't even have to break them in. Like, they're just that comfortable. I also have these in black, and I also have them in red. They're just amazing, and I hope that Target never stops carrying them. But that's my little rant about these shoes. But in general, I just feel like nude pumps can do so much for anybody. And like I said, they're just easy when you just don't feel like trying hard or you don't want to, you know, dig out all your shoes, just put on a pair of nude pumps and they just make you feel sexy. And the last thing I'm going to show, and some may take this or leave it, I, th I feel like having a really nice pair of boots is essential to every wardrobe. I didn't really start wearing boots up until a couple of years ago because I just always thought of like them being too wintry, but I've kind of been wearing them and loving them in the fall seasons and even early spring. And I love them. My favorite pair are these. And these are the Fry. I don't even know the name of them. I'll put the... I'll put the link in the description bar. I don't know the name of these. 
But if you're going to invest in fries, which again, you don't need to, but I would recommend them. They are amazing quality and they're so, so comfortable. I think I got these on Zappos for, it was like free shipping, free returns. It was great. Um, but whatever you're going to do, whatever kind of, boots are expensive. So you're going to spend, I would say, at least $120 on a good pair of boots. Um, but you could also spend $500. So it's totally up to you, but I would definitely get a color that, is versatile that you could wear with different things that's why I picked this color which is actually called taupe because it goes with everything I can wear this color with black I can wear it with brown and I can wear it with everything in between I have worn these with shorts I've worn these over leggings over skinny jeans I have worn these with like um, really cute dresses and skirts like they're just so versatile and I don't they don't make my feet sweat and they don't make my feet really hot I used to just live in Uggs and I will admit it till the day I die, as ugly as they are, they're just so comfortable. That's like, literally you feel like you're walking around in slippers. But they're not always the most fashionable, and I get that. So when I got these last year, these totally took over for my Uggs. Like, I don't think I wore my Uggs all year round. Or all winter long. I just was, I had these on my feet every day. And literally, like, they, they hold up so nicely. They just feel really good, too. And they break in super, super well. So, um... If you can find a color like taupe, I would recommend it. But if not, like I have other ones that are cognac and then I have black ones. But I just feel like that one you can wear with both. Like you don't have to worry about it matching any outfits because it'll match anything. So that's it. I feel so winded. I feel like this was such a fun video to make. I could talk about clothes and fashion all day, every day. But I hope that you guys found this video helpful and that it helped you kind of piece together some wardrobe essentials. With everything that I just told you, you could create so many different outfits, even just putting on like the right scarf or the right necklace to, to add. I just feel like you that's all you need. And for me, like if I if something were to ever happen to anything that I just showed you, like those would be the pieces of clothing or pair of shoes that I would run out to rebuy because I feel like when in doubt, and I don't want to wear something trendy or colorful or fancy, when in doubt, I go for the basics, and that's always what I feel like most comfortable in. So these are always, always basics that I will have in my wardrobe that never, ever fail me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and got something out of it. I will talk to you later. Have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye.